Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for the VK Bulletin design team and I'm very excited about this layout because it came out really fast. Uh, I'm going to tell you the story in a little bit and I love how this turned out. So my base for this layout is a pre-made mixed media paper pad. Uh, the day that I created this layout I was, I had two conference calls and a webinar so I knew that I needed to create something that was quick that I was going to enjoy and that's what the pre-made mixed media pad is going to help you to create those really awesome pages in a really short amount of time so i've gone ahead and pulled this this is one of the mixed media pages i love the fact that there's a lot of blue that has a vertical design especially because the picture that i've pulled is my little cousins they're standing inside of a pool and i want to take advantage of that blue tone another thing that i'm going to pull from my stash is um leftover pieces think of scraps of paper i had a project for scrapbooking in cars that i use um little florals and i cut them out of that paper up there i can remember the name right now but i have the negative piece so i'm going to use that just to bring the interest onto my page so i'm pulling a few more papers that i have like in mind from this layout i want something that has a rainbow i want something that has pink i want something with lots of blues so one of the things that i want to use is uh, the thumbnails paper and that's the one that has think of a color swatches of paint in like kind of a quadricule so i in a grid so i want to take advantage of the strips of these um swatches to create an anchor for my page so i'm going to go ahead and cut three of the strips I'm gonna end up using four so i'm gonna cut one after but i want to cut them in a vertical design so that i have every single color so think of a rainbow so i'm using the strips like i said i'm gonna form um, the anchor piece for my layout with these paper strips and i want to make sure that i cut my strips in a gradation of colors so i want to make sure that they're I cut the strips that are next to each other so like i said i started with three but i'm gonna end up using four of them so i'm gonna go from the lightest to the one before the darkest tone i don't want the darkest i think i already have uh, quite a bit of other pieces that are gonna give me that tone so my idea like i said before is i already have the mixed media has a vertical design so i want to take advantage of that with the swatches to create my layout so you're gonna see i place my picture i'm gonna bring the scrap of paper and that's pretty much the idea for this layout so here's where i cut the extra strip because i know i need to widen the bottom um that vertical design that i have going on i need to make it a little bit wider so i'm gonna go ahead and cut another strip of paper and i like that better um, it takes away some of the busyness from the background too and then i can replace it with paper so what I'm going to do first is add a little bit of mixed media. I already have lots of mixed media. Vicky's already done the work for me. I just need to add something that's going to emphasize some of the shine. I don't have anything shiny on my page and I do love bling. Uh, not lots, but this needs some that is just going to make it stand out. So I am using gold glaze for this. I'm just a little bit and I'm going to dilute it to the consistency of a liquid acrylic paint. And I want that because I want to use the stamp to add some splatters onto my page. One of the stamps is the one that has the bull, fr the frog, um, the clip, sorry, has a little splatter image in it. I want to take advantage of that to just bring the shine on my page. Like I said, Vicky's already created the mixed media for me. I just want to customize it a bit more. So one of the things that I, you gotta keep in mind is when you're using acrylic paint to stamp when you um, stamp your image and you lift up your stamp you create like there's a kind of a suction um, look that you get just because of the viscosity of the paint so to avoid and not have those ripples in the design I'm actually gonna put the stamp kind of wiggle it a little bit and then slowly lift it up and that's still gonna create that kind of suction uh, look but not as much so just keep that in mind once i have my little splatters like on my page and you're gonna see that i kind of follow a triangular design once i have them on my page ready i'm gonna use the leftover gold glaze that i have there i'm gonna dilute it even more with a little bit more water and then i'm just gonna add splatters next to the big splatters that i created and throughout the page i'm not gonna overdo it but i do want those pops of shine in the background so simple as that that's all the mixed media that i need to add like i said before i already have the mixed media that came in the pad 
all I'm doing is enhancing some of the areas and adding a touch of like shine to my page with this. Now I'm going to set it aside to dry and I'm going to start working on the paper layers while um, this dries. And my paper layers are going to be very simple. I'm going to add interest to my paper layers um, with texture and I'm going to show you a fun way to do it. So like I said before, I want to take advantage of the rainbow stripe to create the anchor piece for my page. My idea is I want to have them, the, the strips like um, sit next to each other, kind of stack them to show that change in color, but I don't want them to be flat. If you choose to them to be flat, no problem. I need to add some interest. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting a little notch on each one of the squares at the edge around a quarter of an inch. And I'm cutting them, especially in the, in the left hand side uh, strips just on the left and on the right strip the last strip on the right on the both sides of the little um each square and what i'm gonna do is i'm actually literally gonna fold it um the pieces and the little uh yeah i'm gonna fold the notches in towards the inside of the page so that they show what's on the b side and the b side actually has this pink uh, kind of grid on the back so it's gonna bring some of that pink onto the page and it's bringing texture which is what i'm looking for it's bringing dimension it's bringing texture it's bringing interest it's just not little pieces of paper laying down but it's actually bringing some more to the page so all i'm doing right now is i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, glue them together the line of the little swatch is gonna help me to keep them straight and you're gonna see how that little notch and that little fold just brings a little bit of movement it brings like some interest onto the page so that is all it's gonna take you're gonna see that I'm gonna use my ruler just to press the little folds and then literally I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this piece on to my page right on the center in the junction of the watercolor to the scripty or the loopy um, impression once i have that pretty much my layout like my base is done now remember like i said i have used this paper i had the negative piece i want to take advantage of those holes not they're not going to show all of them but i do want some of them are going to have that empty space that is going to bring what's behind it it's going to show what's behind so all i'm going to do is i'm going to back my picture with a piece of the six by eight paper and this is the one that has that the fuchsia pink with the orange heart i just want something that's very contrasting with the blue the blue is already going to contrast quite a bit with the column of paper but it's going to bring some of the blue that's in the background so i'm just playing with the colors i'm bringing everything together so i am going to add some foam adhesive behind the picture just because i want to give it that lift and when i attach it to the negative piece remember the one that i had all the flowers cut out it's just gonna create this effect and because i have the fold sorry in the papers in the background it just creates this quite a bit of movement it's gonna look like there's a lot of bulk but it's not it's just the idea because you have all those folds it looks like you have a whole bunch of dimension which you don't so just keep that in mind i love dimension i don't like bulk but i like dimension and i love how this turned out so once i have that it's all gonna come to embellishing i'm taking advantage of the ephemera packs i'm gonna bring some of the tags from the ephemera this is from the journal in ephemera like that a ton of awesome i love the fact that it has quite a bit of green which is a color that i don't have on the background and i'm actually gonna put it right on the area where the pink tone is in the column just because i already have the pink in the folds of the paper so i don't need to add more pink to this and i'm actually gonna bring some more pieces that have that green tone i'm gonna you see those florals that i found there i'm actually gonna put them on the left hand side of the picture just gonna bring some of the pink and the yellow that i have in that area of the papers and then just to emphasize the colors i'm kind of color blocking i'm bringing those big butterflies uh one of the things that i'm going to take advantage of that is some of the cardstock stickers i'm going to take advantage of the chipboard stickers and i'm color blocking a little bit on my page and because these are my little girl cousins the title is going to be girl so i'm trying to find something that's really girly that talks about them because they're pretty much the same age and they're quite, quite cute actually so um i'm just taking advantage like i said of like sentiments like capture this tons of awesome uh yes girl yes and it was the story so a lot of things that talk about fun of being girl 
and then for the bottom of the page which you didn't see i pulled out that camera from the chipboard stickers just because they had that shade of purple kind of indigo that has at the bottom there i chose the butterfly but i'm gonna end up choose i'm um, changing it because i want something that is more on the pink side at the bottom so i'm gonna change that white butterfly and actually bring one of the vellum ones with the gold and then i'm gonna add my title i want something really colorful so i went for the chip for the alphas the collection alphas and i'm gonna spell the world i'm gonna spell sorry the world the world i'm gonna spell the word girls right next to the camera uh, i'm gonna actually kind of um stack them so a few of the letters are gonna have a little bit of foam adhesive behind it just to give it that kind of movement on the letters and then i went into the cardstock stickers and there was a little yellow sticker that says you make the world so colorful so i thought it was the perfect uh sentiment for the title so i'm just gonna glue it right underneath the title and i think here's where i changed the butterfly like I said before, I had that white one. Didn't love it, so I choose it. I changed it onto a pink one just because I have already that pink going on on the page. So I'm gonna add it there. Then I'm gonna bring a little bit of black because I think you need to, you know, it needs a little bit of black on the page. It's a lot of color. You need to kind of tone it down a bit. So I went into the cardstock sticker, the tablet, and brought some of those pink, um, those black stickers. And then to finish, I went into the little puffy stickers, and I'm gonna use the stars again. I'm gonna try to color block them i'm gonna place them right next to the tags and right next to the butterflies and i'm gonna kind of match the colors that i have going on and the only thing i did outside the camera is add the little strings to the tags but that's about it i love how this turned out i love the colors i love the texture i love how fast it came together there was 45 minutes of footage that's it and i did not stop recording and i love how this turned out as always if you have any questions do not hesitate to contact me remember to check the blog for more images and thank you so much for joining me take care guys